Hey, Lois, guess who made 15 baskets in a row at the county fair? Some kid we beat up. Oh, what a great day. Had enough yet? Yes. I don't know how you do it. Everything he does is exhausting. Even something as simple as going to the bank. Meg, you've probably wondered from time to time how on earth I pay for all my shenanigans. Well, I'm gonna show you. This is a robbery! Everybody get on the ground! If this bitch moves, shoot him in the eye! Dad, I don't want to do this! You have to! Next week we're buying a zebra! Dad! There's no time to argue. We got 150 seconds before the police respond to the silent alarm. Now check those bags for dye packs. <laughs> Who's the manager here? I, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? You said if he moves, shoot him! He's the only one with a combination that is safe! It's blown! It's blown! This whole operation is blown! I'll get the car. Kill everyone else. You've got to help me, Mom. What do you want me to do? Please, take him back. I suppose I could, Meg, but a part of growing up is learning how to handle a tough situation on your own. Like getting into college or breaking up with your father. I guess. But it's not going to be easy. My life's not always easy, Meg. Just ask an ugly boy scout. Scoutmaster Davenport, you want to share a tent with me tonight? Oh, Billy, I like you as a friend. Oh, Meg, there you are. Hey, let's put on fake eyelashes and flirt with people on the bus. Dad, I'm sorry, but I can't go with you. Mm, are you sure? I called Green Mountain College. They let me reschedule my interview, so I'm going to drive back up there. It's time for me to get serious about my life and take some responsibility. Well, I don't like this Meg. I like the fun Meg. I thought we were friends. Dad, I don't need you to be my friend. I need you to be my father. Well, that is too much to ask, Meg. It's hard being a father. This is why that woman in Texas drowned all her kids. I hate the passage of time. Ah, my little girl's growing up. <laughs> yes, she is, Dad. Yes, she is. I did get into Green Mountain College and contracted HPV my first night there. I got nicknamed the Warthog and, like the HPV, it stuck for life.